Now, how do we get gray hair? As we age, the pigment cells in our hair follicles gradually die. When there are fewer pigment cells in a hair follicle, that strand of hair will no longer contain as much melanin. And what will happen? It will become a more transparent color, like a silver, white, or gray as it grows. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to turn a gray hair black. Do you remember the first time that you noticed a single strand of gray hair, whether it's up there or down there? And how did you respond to that? Did you do the happy dance? I have a gray hair. Or were you like, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, gray hair, gray hair, gray hair. What can I do? Die, 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 die. die listen calm yourself down for most people seeing a few strands of gray hair is a sign of aging most people are not comfortable with it so they're gonna turn to alternative remedies and treatment to get rid of that gray hair they're gonna find some form of a dye to color their hair blonde purple or to color their hair black today i have a homemade remedy that you can try to get rid of your gray hair this is not permanent it's temporary as with most hair dye that you're gonna use well not most all because the hair is gonna grow out and you will have to redo it so it's basically the same process it's just that this is one that you could make in the comfort of your home and it will also save you a few pennies okay so if you're looking to cover your gray hair I have a remedy for you now this remedy guys is for up here okay it is for up here and not down there if you know what I mean all right so if you're interested in covering your grays a temporary but a very effective gray hair cover come with me in the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up in no time now before we begin make sure when you're going to dye your hair you put something on and that is able to take stain because this is definitely if it fall on your clothes is going to leave a dark mark now to make any ear dye you're going to need some form of a coloring and in this hair dye we are going to be using some charcoal for coloring and i'm going to be using about two tablespoons of the charcoal now in this recipe the charcoal is going to be doing a double duty since it's going to help to dye the hair but it's also a wonderful ingredient to use to grow your hair it will penetrate deep into the hair follicle and cause your hair to grow thicker and longer and also shinier and really black so definitely a good ingredient to use in your hair now take a look at our next ingredient and this is lemon you need a fresh lemon for this recipe the citric acid in the lemon is going to help to activate the charcoal and not only that this is going to cause the hair dye to last much longer on your hair now you can also choose to use a little bit of the lemon zest in this recipe for the lemon oil which is loaded with vitamin c now take a look at the next ingredient and this is coconut oil coconut oil is used in this recipe as a binding ingredient it's going to bind the charcoal and the lemon juice together to create a nice paste to have more staying power on the hair now coconut oil is also beneficial to your hair because it will help your hair to grow it moisturize your hair and will have your hair looking shinier and healthier in no time so now let's put all the ingredient together. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of the charcoal and next I'm going to be using some lemon. One thing I forget to mention at the beginning of the video guys is that you are going to need some gloves for this recipe. This charcoal is similar to using a regular ear dye so it definitely will stain your nails so uh, gloves is preferred to apply this to your hair. Alright so 
If you don't have a glove, you can choose to use some plastic bags or something like that. Just make sure your hands is covered. So I'm going to use about a half of a lemon juice. If you do not have lemon, lime is good. You can even choose to use some grapefruit juice in this recipe. Just make sure to use a fruit with strong citric acid. So I'm hoping to get about two tablespoons from this half. If not, I'll just go back and use the other half. Now charcoal is very absorbing. So what is going to happen is that it's going to absorb the lemon juice rather quickly. So therefore, if you need more lemon juice, go ahead and add a little more lemon juice to the mix for best result. Now, as you can see how dry this is looking, therefore, I'm just going to put a little bit more lemon juice in this mix and then I'm going to move on to the coconut oil. So I'm going to start off using about two tablespoons of the coconut oil. Now guys, if you do not have coconut oil, you can choose to use some olive oil in this recipe. You can even choose to use some castor oil. You can use some grapeseed oil, almond oil, or you can even use some canola oil in this recipe. Just use oil in this recipe. Now the two tablespoons look pretty good right here this is exactly how you need it to look so just mix and mix well now this amount is suitable for covering your roots if you're looking to cover more longer length just double or triple up on the ingredient so just mix well for about a minute or so and then your hair dye is ready. I recommend that you mix this just before you use it. You do not want to mix this and put it away because the lemon is going to actually go bad like within seven days. So it's easier to just get your ingredient and mix and use right away. All right, so now we are ready to use. Now to use this hair dye, you are going to be using your gloves for the application. I suggest you wash your hair before you use. Wash your hair with your shampoo and also condition your hair. Once your hair is clean, you are now ready to use your hair dye. So you're going to part your ear in small section, especially if you are covering the root and you're going to use your hand and you're going to apply the mask to your ear root. If you're doing the entire head, then you're going to work it in from the root all the way to the end of the hair. Now, once this is done, you are going to cover your hair, preferably with a steam cap or even a shower cap, and you're going to leave it on your ear for at least 30 to 40 minutes. A easier way to get the job done is to cover your hair and sit under a ear dryer for about 30 minutes. This way, the dye will absorb into the ear root and it will actually cause the dye to remain on your hair much longer. However, if you do not have a dryer, then go ahead and keep it on. Wear it around the house for at least 30 minutes. Once this is done, you are going to remove your cap and you are going to rinse your hair. This time you are not going to use a shampoo or a conditioner. You're just going to rinse it out and dry your hair. Towel dry is preferred. However, if you have to, go ahead and use your blow dryer. Now, this is going to stay on your hair for about a week or two until the hair roots start to grow out, and then you will have to repeat the process. As I mentioned earlier, no need to make a large batch to have leftovers. Just make enough to use at once for best result. So, so there you have it. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and give this a try. A little messy, however, most dyes are messy anyway. So use it, come back, comment, and let me know how well it works on your gray hair. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Cover those grays. <laughs>